If you're anything like me, this whole staying at home thing has been kind of weird for your inspiration. I'm the kind of person who typically I base all of my shooting of my photos and my videos around whatever I'm doing at the time. I don't necessarily think, okay, this is the shot that I want to get, so I'm going to go out and create that situation for myself like a lot of photographers do. For the most part, I am out doing something already and I use my surrounding as my inspiration. And so of course, being cooped up at home has been a little bit difficult because my surroundings are never changing and I'm struggling to be inspired. Now there are differing opinions on this, but a lot of people think that inspiration cannot be forced. My opinion on it is that I feel like it can be nudged in the right direction if you know how to do it. And I have a technique that I'm going to employ today that I like to call the idea funnel. And we are going to go shoot some photos, but first I want to explain what the idea funnel is. So let's get our notebooks ready and I'll show you. So the idea funnel itself is a relatively simple concept, but it starts with a problem. And that problem is that typically when I try and think of an idea, just inherently I want to think of the whole idea all at once. So I want to go from idea straight down to execution. Now sometimes this does work, sometimes there's enough inspiration to feed the idea straight into the execution. It just kind of all happens all at once. But like I mentioned before, being stuck at home isn't exactly giving me a lot of inspiration. So the way that I'm going to nudge that inspiration along is by doing the idea funnel. Instead of having the entire idea all at once, I'm going to start with a general concept. That's why it's wide at the top, because this could mean a lot of things. So for example, one of the ideas that I've come up with for today is a self-portrait. Now that can mean a million different things and there are a lot of different ways that you could take that. But the concept of the idea funnel is that we're going to start very general and then gradually bit by bit, piece by piece, we're going to get more specific until we have a solid idea that we can go off of. So for example, starting with the general concept of self-portrait and moving down one level, we could say, okay, where do we want to do this self-portrait? So I'm going to do it on my couch. And then we could think, are there any other details that we might want in the shot? And I think I've got a cool plant. So now we've got me and the couch and the plant in a shot. Is there anything interesting that we could do with that? Well, we have to decide what's going to be in focus. Is the plant going to be in focus or am I going to be in focus? Typically, you'd want to shoot with the subject being the human in focus, but it might be kind of cool to do the plant in focus and the, the subject out of focus in the background. So we're going to play with focus here. So now we've got a pretty solid idea of what we want our shot to be. It's going to be a self-portrait on the couch with the plant and the plant is going to be in focus while I'm going to be out of focus in the background. So we went from a super general concept and just little by little we started adding things until we've got our full idea. And somewhere during the funnel I started to get excited about this concept. I started to get inspired by the idea of this. I think really when we started to add the plant and the idea of kind of playing with where the focus is going to be, that's really what kind of got me excited. Now all of a sudden I'm inspired again. Let's try one more here. So my general concept is going to be a silhouette. Now working our way down the silhouette, I'm going to have me in front of a window and I think that's how I'm going to get that silhouette. And it might be kind of cool to have blinds. And when I think of the blinds, I think of like peeking. So I'm going to be silhouetted. I'm going to be peeking through the blinds at the window. This one's going to depend on light a little bit, but I think we can make this happen because we're coming up on midday here. So starting with the general concept of the silhouette, we worked our way down and now we have a pretty solid idea for a photo. 
One of the cool things about this process is that you don't necessarily have to take it too far down the funnel. You don't have to keep thinking of idea after idea after idea to get your full picture. All you really have to do is take yourself far enough that you're inspired. For example, I have a third idea that I wanna to shoot today that basically just started out as product photography. I thought of the product, which was my new kettle. And then really, I just wanted to build a set around the kettle that kind of made sense in my kitchen. It's still really not a very specific idea, but I've got enough that I'm inspired to go shoot it, and the rest will happen as I start to build that set around that kettle. And remember that if you are going to try the idea funnel, you don't have to come up with something that's crazy complicated or way outside of the box. You could just come up with a nice simple idea like, I'm gonna take a self-portrait on my couch. As long as that's enough to get you inspired and you think you can get a cool shot out of it, that's all you need. And this method can apply to a lot of things. If you're having trouble getting to an end point with any thought, you can start by thinking generic, think simple, and then gradually get more specific down the funnel and you'll get there. But now that we've talked about the idea funnel and I've gotten myself all riled up about taking these photos, let's go take the photos. So as you can see behind me here, I've got the couch that I was talking about, I've got the plant that I was talking about, and then I just set up my Sony a6600 with the Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4 lens on it. I took a couple of test shots to start with just to kind of get the vibe for what it's gonna look like, and now I'm going to use the Sony Imaging Edge app to connect my phone to the camera so that I can take the shots while being the subject on the couch. If you want more info on how I take these self-portrait photos, I have a whole video on that, that you can go check out, I'll link it up here somewhere. Okay, so that's one of three ideas down. I ended up taking a couple of different angles and a couple of different ideas. I didn't always do that out of focus subject kind of thing. Not really sure if I'm fully loving it, but that's the whole idea of this is to get you inspired enough to start shooting and then you can figure out things as you go. So let's move on to number two, the silhouette. So I've got the 6600, but I've swapped out for the Sony 35 millimeter F1.8 because I wanna get a little bit tighter than the 16 was getting me. And I've also grabbed the Sigma 56 millimeter in case I wanna get even tighter, maybe do kind of a head and shoulders close up. The 35 millimeter should give us a bit of a kind of a cowboy shot or a mid range shot. I think the trickiest part with this shot is going to be the fact that the sun keeps ducking behind clouds. So to get that nice silhouette, we're gonna need lots of sun blaring through. We'll see. Okay, after all that, I'm actually gonna take the tripod off of the counter because I can't quite get it over far enough to get the shot that I want. <laughs> Here's hoping. Looking pretty good. So that is how I use my idea funnel to go from no inspiration to just kind of nudging my inspiration along. And it totally, totally worked. As soon as I started getting things set up, I got into the idea flow where ideas kept coming to me and it was starting with the shot that I thought I was gonna get and then gradually moving into some other stuff. And I think especially in front of the window, I'm really excited to see how those ones turn out. Now I am gonna skip the third idea that I had about doing the product shot 
lot because I'm just running out of time here today. But what I'm really interested in is to see what you guys can come up with using this idea of the idea funnel. So what I want you guys to do is go down to the comments below and I want you guys to come up with your own idea funnel. Just something off the top of your head, start with the general concept and gradually make it more specific until you've got some kind of an idea that you could actually go shoot. Actually, you know what? It doesn't even have to be photography, just whatever you want. But if it is gonna be a photo and you're gonna post it on Instagram, make sure to tag me and use the hashtag idea funnel and I'll be sharing some of these on my stories going forward. I'm super excited to see what you guys come up with using the idea funnel concept. If you enjoyed this video, if you got something out of it or if you just had fun, make sure to give it a big like, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.